Well, I, what I've said, and I've said for three years, I'm agnostic as to where the money comes from to, to make sure that I-25 all the way from, from Pueblo to Fort Collins is you know, six lanes the whole way and eight lanes where it needs to be. Uh, whether that's a sales tax, that's what the, you know, the, the concrete, uh, the construction industry, they've done a bunch of polling, they think that's most likely. I don't care if we raise the gas tax, they say that won't pass. I'm, I'm agnostic. I, I mean, I really don't care where we find the money, but it's a significant amount of money. Utah is out spending us four to one. So they're spending $600 million a year on new capacity. We're spending $150 million a year on new capacity. That's not going to, we can't sustain ourselves that way. And sooner or later, we're going to start losing businesses and, and, and newcomers are going to be saying, oh, I'd rather go to Utah. They believe in themselves. They invest in themselves. Wasn't, wasn't the Utah expansion of the infrastructure, uh, wasn't the 2002 Olympics a catalyst to that? That's when they built the light rail and all that stuff. I think 2002 in, in Utah, when they, when they got uh, the Olympics, was a catalyst in a sense that it, it allowed everyone to believe in themselves. And all of a sudden, the people said, hey, we can do this. Uh, but they've been going, I mean, that was uh, 15 years ago, and they are still, just last year, they raised their gas tax up to 29 cents a gallon. We're only at 22 cents a gallon. And that's not, that's not reflective, I don't think, of an, Olymp of an Olympics 15 years ago. It's reflective of their confidence and their recognition that they are going to build the infrastructure to allow their economy to grow, to create better jobs for their kids and grandkids. On our Facebook Live platform, uh, one of our viewers said, Hick for Prez 2020. <laughs> Democrats need fresh new faces. Are you that Democrat in 2020? <laughs> no, well, certainly not a fresh new face. Um, I'm a pretty moderate, as I said before, I'm a pretty moderate person, and I'm a, uh, probably a very moderate Democrat. And my focus has really been trying to get people together and sort out their distance differences, not to really dramatize the differences that are there. So. I think in most primary seasons, people such as myself are supportive players rather than lead players. So you won't run in 2020? I'd say that. I just said that I've, I've got two years to make Colorado the national model. Uh, and by almost any circumstance, I can't see someone like myself you know, being a, a, a strong contender for a national nomination like that. But I'd never rule anything out. Who knows?